In May 2003, Thomas O'Brien, then Bishop of the Diocese of Phoenix, admitted to sheltering at least 50 priests accused of sexual abuse, often shuffling them around to parishes across the state. O'Brien's admission, released under an agreement with the county attorney, acknowledged he allowed Roman Catholic priests under my supervision to work with minors after becoming aware of allegations of sexual misconduct. He also waived his own immunity should sexual misconduct allegations against him surface. Thirteen years later, in a lawsuit filed last September, O'Brien, now Bishop Emeritus, was accused of sexually abusing a grade school boy. In recent months, USA Today Network reporters at the Pacific Daily News have uncovered scores of allegations involving 14 Catholic priests on Guam, where a former altar boy's accusation last summer that Archbishop Anthony Aporon sexually abused him in the 1970s has prompted other revelations. Abuse cases also have roiled Catholic parishes elsewhere in the nation, sometimes decades after evidence of the crimes first emerged. In the O'Brien case, an Arizona man sued, claiming repressed memories resurfaced two years ago, according to court documents. The lawsuit accuses O'Brien, now 81, of sexual abuse from 1977 through 1982. O'Brien, who stepped aside as an active bishop in June 2003 after he was found guilty of leaving the scene of a fatal accident, denies the accusation. The suit names 60 other Roman Catholic priests or church employees, dating back to the 1950s and alleges a cover-up. The diocese itself eventually exposed some priests as part of an agreement with Arizona prosecutors in the early 2000s. At least two of the priests fled the U.S. and remain at large, and a substantial number are now dead. A Maricopa County Superior Court judge is considering diocese attorneys' motions to dismiss several of the lawsuit's 14 claims. The 2003 agreement in O'Brien's case brought major changes within the Catholic Church in the Phoenix area, including victim assistance and training on sexual misconduct for all diocesan staff and volunteers. In Louisiana, church's response evolves. Accusations of sex crimes involving Catholic priests and children in Louisiana may date back seven decades, court records reveal. The case of the relevant F. David Broussard, who is expected in a St. Martin Parish court on November 27, is the most recent. The 51-year-old former pastor in Borough Bridge, Louisiana, while not accused of sexual contact with children, was charged in July 2016 with 500 counts of possession of child pornography after investigators say they found hundreds of images on his personal computer. Broussard wrote a public apology after his arrest but pleaded not guilty to the felony charges in May. He remains free on $25,000 bond and is on administrative leave. Former priest Mark A. Broussard, no relation to F. David Broussard, convicted in March 2016 of molesting altar boys in the neighboring diocese of Lake Charles in the late 1980s, was arrested in 2012 after a man wrote to Lake Charles Bishop Glenn John Provost to reveal accusations against him. Mark Broussard was sentenced in May 2016 to two consecutive life sentences for aggravated rape and 50 additional years for other sexual abuse charges. The Lafayette area cases were just two of many involving local priests and children. In 2014, a Minnesota public radio investigation uncovered a wealth of court-related documents tied to such incidents in the Diocese of Lafayette. The link, the most relevant Harry Flynn, who was bishop both in Lafayette and in Minnesota, where sex abuse cases involving the clergy were uncovered. Those cases revealed that at least 15 Lafayette priests had sexually abused children. The accused served in myriad church positions across the Lafayette diocese, including in small Acadiana towns such as Advil, where Gilbert Gote's case drew nationwide attention in the 1980s. Gote admitted to raping or sodomizing 37 children dating back to 1972. In 1986, he pleaded guilty to 11 counts of child molestation and was sentenced to 20 years in prison, but he was released a decade early. As many as 100 people may have been abused by Gote, according to bishopaccountability.org, a watchdog website.
The Catholic Church's response today to accusations of sex abuse involving clergy members is much different than it was in the latter half of the 20th century, when priests might merely be reassigned to different parishes, evidence shows. Bishop Provost turned over accusations against Mark Broussard de police. Bishop Douglas Deschateau cooperated with local authorities when F. David Broussard was arrested. The Diocese of Lafayette now says it marches in step with the Catholic Church's mandates to protect children and since 2003 has enacted practices including criminal background checks and fingerprinting for clergy and others who have contact with minors. In Delaware, bankruptcy and new allegations in 2002, as a child sexual abuse scandal in Boston.